I know another story where the wolf comes knocking at the door. Come on. Oh. With his big fat paws? <laughs> or with his head? Let's try and guess. Does he break the door? Does he smash the walls? Does he tear the house down? Is it the one about the three little pigs? Oh boy, tell us! Yeah, tell us again, please. All right, all right. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They all wanted to build houses for themselves, but had very different opinions about how best to do it. Mine will be huge. Mine will be quaint. Split level for me. Oh, well, I say we get started. Dream houses don't just build themselves. Oh, boy. <laughs> the first little pig soon met a man carrying a bundle of straw. Interested in selling your straw? Sure thing. The little pig was now ready to get to work building his straw dream house. The walls were made of straw, the roof was made of straw, even the door was straw. When he was all done and had a chance to sit and admire his extraordinary craftsmanship, he was beside himself with joy. The second little pig met a woman carrying a bundle of thorny branches. Ma'am, are those branches for sale? Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? So he did, and then he set to work. He built his thorny branch dream house with walls, roof, and door, all made of thorny branches. When he was done, he imagined what would happen if ever the wolf should try to break into his thorny house, and he had himself a good old laugh. The third little pig met a donkey carrying a load of bricks. How much for all your bricks, sir? How much you got? And the third little pig got to work on his brick dream house. The walls were brick, the roof was brick, the door wisely was wooden. The pig thought his new house was the height of comfort, chic, and durability. <laughs> Brick! Well, just a few days later, our friend the wolf passed by the straw house. I thought zoning laws prohibited this sort of thing. Open your door, little pig, and let me in. Not a chance. Creep. Then you leave me no choice. I'll huff and I'll puff. And if that fails, I'll use my hands. But I'm ripping it down. Go right ahead. Huff and puff and claw away, but you're not getting in here. Well, the wolf huffed and puffed and clawed, and of course the little straw house was torn to bits. The little pig got out just a nick of time. He ran straight to his brother's house, and they slammed the door in the wolf's face. Dang it! Thorns! You'll pay for this. Open up, little pig, and let me in. No way! Go on, get lost! You wish! Well, I got no choice but to huff and puff and destroy this crummy place with my bare hands. Like to see you try. Huff, puff, go ahead and <laughs> use your dainty little paws. <laughs> but it wasn't as hard as it looked. A few huffs, a few puffs, a few little shoves, and down came the thorn house. But the two little pigs got out in time. Their brother saw them coming. He hustled them inside his brick house and locked the door behind them just in time. Oh, not again. Open up, little pig, and let me in. I'm starved. Face it. You're not getting in. The wolf clawed and pulled and huffed and puffed and kicked himself back and through. But not a single brick budged from its place. Inside, the pigs were laughing themselves silly. If you think that was funny, you'll die laughing when I come down your chimney and gobble y'all up. But those little pigs were smarter than he thought. They set to work gathering wood and stoking up the fire under a huge pot of boiled nut soup. They heard the wolf's paw steps on the roof. And then... Yeah? They heard the wolf snarling and grumbling inside the chimney. The two pigs who'd lost their homes were terrified, but the third little pig just took the cover off the pot. The wolf was already beginning his descent. And then... Bullseye! And that was the sorry end of the big bad wolf. From that day forward, the three little pigs were inseparable. The brick house became the dream house for all three of them. And if I'm not mistaken, they still live there to this very day. That brick house <laughs> was always my favorite one. Papa, when I'm big, what kind of house will I have? You can have a straw house, because the wolf's gone. But a thorn house is good, because it's economical. Oh, no. A brick house is always your best bet. With a wooden door like Papa's. And a big comfy armchair where you can read a story. Would you visit us? <laughs> you couldn't keep me away. <laughs> no matter what kind of house you live in. <laughs>